Welcome back to another season of GRTV News. We have had a bit of a Christmas break. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas, but it's time to get back into the gaming and the, most importantly, the gaming news. First of all, this year would be that Bioware has announced the first full expansion pack for Dragon Age Origins. It'll be called Dragon Age Origins Awakening, which will be very funny to say fast. And uh, it will be uh, priced below full price, uh, available for the PC, the 360 and the PlayStation 3, and will feature a brand new land, Amaranth, Amaranth theme, uh, which will, you will explore in the role as a new Grey Warden Commander trying to rebuild the Order. Despite the fact that there's an economic crisis going on, Nintendo is able to pull off record-breaking numbers over and over again. First of all, during December of 2009, they sold a 3 million units of the Wii. Compare that to December 2008, when they only, only sold 2.15 million. And uh, Nintendo DS, of course, is breaking records as well. So now, in Europe alone, Nintendo has an installed user base of 20 million Wiis. And then Nintendo DS has sold in more than 40 million copies. Um, I guess this only proves the internet meme that the Nintendo DS actually prints real money. More Christmas news, of course, as Microsoft have uh, tallied up all uh, their sales numbers from December, and they've sold now worldwide a total sum of 39 million Xbox 360s. That's over the entire lifespan of the console, not only during December. They've also announced that 20 million people are using Xbox Live. 10 million of those have logged into uh, non-gaming services like Facebook and Twitter and Last.fm, and another 5 million of those have fragged me in Modern Warfare 2. Microsoft have also announced that they've sold 500 million games for the machine, and people have been spending $20 billion in retail. Money. And, of course, we also have some December news from Sony. Because back in 2008, I don't think that Sony was very happy with their uh, numbers at the end of December. But this year, they should be sharing that they have improved by 76%. And the uh, PlayStation 3 sold in uh, 3.8 million units from the last week of November to the last week of December of 2009. They're still not close to Nintendo numbers, but hey, it's money is money, right? According to ESPN, EA are working on a brand new version of the classic arcade game NBA Jam for the Nintendo Wii. A uh, key phrase in that report is that the, the game will ship to retail exclusively for Nintendo Wii, which might suggest that EA are working on versions for uh, the Xbox Live Arcade and PlayStation Network, which would make sense considering the other arcade kind of style uh, NFL and uh, NHL games that are available for download on those two services. The original rights for uh, NBA Jam used to belong to Midway, but now it seems like EA has picked them up. During the electronic trade show CES, which when we're recording this is in full swing over in the state, uh, Microsoft has announced a new service for Xbox Live called The Game Room. The Game Room will be a virtual room which you will navigate with your avatar and where you can play old classic arcade style games. You will either be able to buy those games for 240 Xbox points or you can play them once for 40 Xbox points. Uh, kind of like putting a quarter into a classic arcade machine. The uh, service is supposed to be available this spring and uh, it will have at launch, 30 titles, with a thousand titles promised over the course of the next three years, with new games being released every week. So we just have to see how that works out. That's all we had for you this week. As usual, we'll be back next week, and we'll be here all through, uh, all through the spring. So remember to check us out, and remember to check out GRTV, and all that jazz. Take care.